over crude. All right, let, let's take a look at uh, this morning's price action here. What we try to do, let's break these charts down real quick in a quick five-minute video, and I want to make sure you understand what we do here. If you look, we've had two great shorts on crude this morning with the, um, with the system. If you notice, we had a wave three and a wave five pattern. I don't care what market you trade. When you put, this is called the J signal chart or the Fibonacci retracement chart. All right. We have a mathematical model that looks at these retracements for confluence, and that's when these fib dots pop up. It's a nice little mathematical model built into this algorithm where, where it lets these fib dots pop up on retracements to get short or long. We don't take every fib dot, though. Okay, the fib dot being red and down trends, blue and up trends. What we do is we try to find the ones that are going to be in the ones with impulse waves. Now, if you know anything about Elliott Wave, Elliott Wave has two wave patterns that are impulse waves, wave three and wave five. So what we want to try to do is we want to try to get on a wave three or wave five pattern on any market that you trade. I don't care what market you trade. This works on all futures, all stocks, all currency. It doesn't matter. The same pattern is what you're going to try to find. The best way to trade this white chart or what we call the J signal chart where this mathematical model is built into this is what we're trying to do is we're trying to get market profile to break first. I have two market profile levels. I have a high value in red and I have a low value in green. High value red, low value green. You do not want to take any shorts above high value only longs. Vice versa, you do not want to take any longs below low value, only shorts. Let me say this again, below low value, only shorts if it breaks through it. Above high value, only longs. Okay? Only shorts below low value, only longs above high value. That being said, once you break through, here's how you trade this chart, once you break through low value area, it starts coming out at midnight, starts printing at midnight. Once you break through the low value, here it is. The market has now weakened. You're going to look for the first retracement back up on any given market. That should be a wave three, a wave three pattern short. Okay? That's a wave three pattern short. This should be your longest leg. It's going to be a three or five one of your longest legs of a move. You're allowed to retrace all the way to this black line, this volatility line, before you get a red fib dot and market delta entry. So you're going to let it retrace. Watch a red dot, fib dot print. Then you're going to look for negative market delta over here to close to show you an order imbalance to pop you in the trade. Now you're going to have two, on as far as a perfect Elliott wave, which it did today, you're going to have two wave patterns. You have a wave three, where it pushes hard down, retraces back up, and you get a second shot at it with the wave five. Once you get through a wave five, it starts being a little bit more difficult, meaning you had two pushes. Once you get outside of LVA and have that first push up, this is what I want you to strive for. On every single day, any market you trade, I want you to try to get a wave three. That's the first break outside of LVA or HVA or inside of it, and that's your first break retest. This is the guy I want you to try to get on right here every single day. That's your best quality setup. Wave five then is your second shot at it, which is more dangerous than the first after breaking through. Once you get down through, then the setup starts to what? You start getting into an ABC pattern after, wave, after two big waves have went down. So it becomes a little bit more dangerous when you get into these wave patterns down here. This fib dot caught the high. This fib dot's trying to catch the high right now on a rollover. Okay, so what you can do on the initial wave three and wave five, you can use market delta to pop you in. So if we look at 409 and we look at uh, six o'clock, you can see that they both caught the high. Right here it is. These are wave five. This caught the wave five. Wave three. This caught the wave five, both negative market delta. Negative market delta, negative market delta, okay? So once you get through those wave three and wave five, you come down to these additional Fibonacci dots. After three and five, meaning two waves have already happened, 
it becomes a little bit more dangerous. So what I would do, if you're going to take shots at it, is you could get in these by looking at a red pull-in bar, which is trying to show traders today how to do. When it turns a red bar after the fib dot right there, this last trade right here, red bar right here, your fill would be 06, so already got down to 98, you're already up 8 ticks on the trade. This one, got your full 10 tick target. You can place your stops 2 ticks above the swing high. Swing high here stop, swing high here stop. Because these are more dangerous fibs. But you're still outside of LVA. This market's still weak. It still could go lower. But you don't want to look at doing market delta, negative market delta. Right? Because you know it's a more dangerous setup. Three and fives happen because if this turns positive market delta, here's your fill at 5101. If this turns positive market delta, it could be 5108, 5109, and you take a small stop on these more dangerous fibs. So in other words, I like doing the three patterns the best with negative or positive market delta. This is negative market delta, this is negative market delta. If you're going to take these Fibonacci dots that, ha that happen after wave three and wave five, meaning the first two waves, you can look at taking it with a pull-in bar like this, but you're more looking to get in right away after the Fib dot prints because it's a more dangerous trade. I'm trying to get you in on this methodology at a three latest five. You start taking these later fibs in a hard trending market. I'd rather you see you get low risk and try to get in right when the fibs print. Okay? So that's how we try to do it. We try to get way three, way five. If we break down through low value area, very simple. Negative market delta. Here's your two trades. There it is. Negative market delta. Enter the trade. Stop loss two ticks above the swing high. Negative market delta. Two ticks above the swing high. Okay? That's how we do it. All right? Gerald, go ahead and shut that off.